Welcome to the Firearm Guy channel. Here we try a little bit of everything. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. You're looking at an M3 submachine gun, shoots 45 auto. This one was made in 1944. It's commonly known as a grease gun because it looks like a grease gun. Some of the features here, we'll notice that the dust cover is up. The only safety is when that dust cover's down. And then here we have the charging handle here, pulls it back. 30 round magazine, once again, 45 auto, does have a retractable stock. The rate of fire of this is not quite as quick as some of the other ones that you have seen, but still an awesome gun. Nonetheless, let's do some shooting. This grease gun is very cool. Interesting note, the Army used these all the way up to the late 1980s. From production to actual usage, this gun took less than a year. You can see how compact it is. It's a lot lighter. You know, you put 30 rounds in the magazine, weighs down a little front end heavy, but uh, obviously as you shoot it, it gets lighter. Real nice feel to it. Lower rate of fire than some of the other ones, but uh, certainly gets the job done. This grease gun was actually made to replace the Tommy gun or the Thompson submachine gun. It's cheaper during that time, about $20 to make this. Actually produced by General Motors. Isn't that something? Get a load of that charging handle. Here we have a speed loader. This just slides over, pull it down, add around, push it in just like that. You know, this gun is very rare. This is a $25,000 gun. It actually replaced the Thompson gun, and these are more rare than the Thompson guns. To get your hands on a grease gun like this, very, very difficult, which also explains the price point. So much. If you ever wondered what a $25,000 gun looks like, well, you're looking at it right there. M3 submachine gun, otherwise known as the greaser. This piece right here is the canister of oil. And these people were very resourceful. They knew how to make the most out of the gun. The stock is folded in right now. By pulling that button, it comes completely off. And then the end of the stock is used to prop open, or through the trigger guard to prop prop open the gun and be able to get to the bolt and everything to, for cleaning and the end of this piece here is where the bore brush goes to clean out your bore so all that can be done with this removable stock if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe Thank you.